Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today I am at JB Hudson Jewelers, and I'll be taking a close look at the Omega Speedmaster Professional Alaska Project. So this watch is a limited edition of 1970 pieces, and the reason I said it like that actually, and the reason it is 1970, is because that was when the original Alaska Project was prototyped. So the reason it was actually prototyped, I'll discuss it up here, is so Omega wanted to make a watch for NASA that could go on the dark side of the moon. And NASA actually never really asked them to do that, they just wanted to give something to NASA because they were looking at traveling there. And the reason you need a really special watch there is because it doesn't get much sunlight, so it's really, really cold. So what Omega did was they put this red colored aluminum jacket on the watch and that gave it a ton of temperature resistance, which is just what they would have needed. So. Uh, it has a temperature resistance of negative 148 Celsius to positive 260 Celsius. So that is a very, very wide range of temperatures and very, very cold temperature and hot temperature. So now we're going to actually take it down to the pad and I'll get you a closer look at it. Okay guys, so here's the watch in greater detail. And right off the bat, the first thing I'm sure you can notice is that this watch is absolutely massive. So now that is just because of the aluminum jacket which gives it, to, which gives it its temperature resistance, not the actual case of the watch itself. So now I'll open it up and you can see the main watch. So to open this watch, you kind of, you just turn it left and then pull it straight up and then to put it on you press down and turn to the right so it's pretty easy to get on and off no screws involved you just easily can take it on and off so here's the actual watch now this watch I really like the look of it the case is exactly the same as the moon watch which is a classic look but it's paired with a very very high visibility dial and I really love the dial I love how it's a bright arctic white and it is very white by the way um, and then paired with the very dark black hands I really do like it it basically it provides a lot of visibility and that's what Omega really tried to do with this and then I do love how they put the red second hand on there still though it really it matches the case very well and it provides a good amount of color to the dial so yeah very 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 good looking so the chronograph operates as normal there you go start stop reset and actually to operate the, you may have noticed these on the the sorry the jacket and those are to operate the chronograph so as you can see I can push the top one there and then I'll just press in and then the bottom one there so yeah that just op allows you to operate the chronograph with the jacket on you can't actually reset the watch with the jacket on but I mean I don't really know why you'd need to so now I'll show you guys the box and some of the other special things this comes with being that it's a limited edition Okay guys, so here's the box of this watch. And now, so one of the things you get are two straps. So these are made to be worn with the jacket as the steel band does not accommodate nearly enough room to actually wear it with the jacket. So you get two of them because one is a little bit longer than the other and then these are Velcro. So very easy to take on, take off. And these are what the astronauts would have actually worn over their spacesuit. And on them, they just say Speedmaster Limited Edition Alaska Project, negative 148 degrees Celsius to positive 260 degrees Celsius. Then Omega, and you get a little kind of logo thing on the other end. So it also comes with some more things. So underneath here, which is where the jacket is stored, you get a spring bar tool, which is very cool. Sorry, let me focus that. Mm, yeah, okay, very, very, very um, well-made spring bar tool out of the same aluminum as the jacket. It's got some, you can replace the nibs on it. And then here in this little capsule, you get some extra spring bars. And in this little capsule, you get the extra nibs for the spring bar tool. So it really is well equipped to be worn for a very, very long time. And that is a good thing to have for this watch. They're just good things to have in general for any watch. So yeah, besides that, the box though is pretty cool. It's different than the normal Speedmaster Moonwatch box. It's Velcro opened. Very kind of heavy when you open it, but it feels very, very cool. Very co good looking box. I really like the look of it. 
So I'm just going to set that back there. And now I'm going to take the watch back. So here's the watch again, guys. So now I'm actually going to do a wrist shot of this watch. So I'm going to actually take this off because I can't, as I said before, you can't really get it on your wrist with the jacket. So here is it with without the jacket on the wrist. Looks very, very good. Love the dials, I said before. Very makes you pop out from the crowd. Very good looking watch. So overall this watch is at JB Hudson Jewelers here for seven thousand dollars, which I think is actually a very, very good deal. Being that this is, in my opinion, and I'd say I think believe other people agree with me, the most interesting limited edition Speedmaster. Very, very good option in that price range, because then you're competing with like a Rolex Submariner, and I would far rather have this, just as it's a lot more interesting. And this watch is in very good condition. It's got the acrylic crystal, and they're very, there's like almost no scratching on that. Very, very good construction overall. So thanks for watching this video, and remember to subscribe to the channel and see our others. Thank you.